We're raised to believe that a strength is what you're good at and a weakness is what you're bad at. If a strength is what you're good at, then the person least qualified to identify your strengths is you. Because you are not the best judge of your performance. But a strength isn't what you're good at. Because, let's face it, there are an awful lot of things that you're probably quite good at that you don't like at all, that don't drain you. If you're good at something, that's performance. It's not a strength or a weakness. A strength is an activity that strengthens you. A weakness is an activity that weakens you. Before you do it, you don't want to do it. While you're doing it, you can't concentrate on it. That's a weakness. Even if you're good at it, it's a weakness. Strengths and weaknesses are antecedents to performance. If you define a strength this way, as a strength as an activity that strengthens you, the person most qualified to identify your strengths is you. If I just told you to take a blank sheet of paper around with you for a week and draw a line down the middle of it and put loved it at the top of one column and loathed it at the top of the other and said, look, Chris, just for a week, anytime you find yourself looking forward to doing something, scribble it down. And then the other way too, stuff that well, on the loathed it column, write down stuff that you kept trying to procrastinate or hand off to someone else or while you're doing it, you couldn't concentrate. Do that. You'll end up with a list of loved it and loathed it. That list of loved it is the place to begin when you're trying to answer the question, what are my strengths? You know better than anyone else does what intrigues you and what engages you.